I'm sports director Ryan Hennessy. We got a lot of big games to break down, but first, our high school huddle game of the week. Dora and Corner are atop the 4A Region 5 standings now. The winner of tonight's game, an inside path of the division title. Let's get to WBTM 13's Cario Sep for the game of the week. Hey Ryan, it's that time of the season already. Can you believe it? Where games really start to matter as we look into postseason implications. And you mentioned it. These two teams not only representing the city of Dora and their communities, but Corner and Dora playing for some pride on the field with regional rankings on the line. Dora hosting Corner. Winner earns the top spot in the 4A Region 5 standings, at least for now. Coach Travis Williams getting his guys ready and it worked, but not until the second quarter. Corner quarterback Brendan Connor looking downfield for his guy. Swipe or no swiping? Oh man, it is Camden Hines swiping the ball from open space for Dora. The Bulldogs running back Jaden Griffin dicing through the defense in the red zone, crossing the goal line. Dora misses the extra point but takes the 6 0 lead. In his first year as Corner's head coach, Trent Campbell is confident in his guys in the second half, and here's why. Right away in the third quarter, Brendan Connor pulling the now you see him, now you don't trick, and you see him again hitting green grass to the end zone. Corner leading 7 to 6. The Yellow Jackets continue to find their offense in that second half as they get two more touchdowns, but this one was a battle until the end. But Corner goes on to win by a final of 21 to 14. Connor getting two touchdowns on the night. Unfortunately, Dora's starting quarterback got a late injury that stopped their drive. But a big win for Corner. And talking to their head coach after the win, he says that maybe there were some emotions after this victory. Yeah, just you know, it's it's a lot when when they struggle, and you see them work hard and uh, and they they work through it, and they really stick to it, and they they, they practice all the stuff that you've been preaching to them. And, and watching them buy into, into what we're trying to do with them is, is really, it's really special. Well, a lot of emotion there, Gary. We mentioned this game having big impacts on the standings. What does this look like for 4A Region 5? Yeah, the Yellow Jackets, Ryan, are 3-0 in divisional play. Behind them, they're now tied, actually, though, with Oak Grove. Then behind them, Dora and Haleyville. Now on the outside, looking in at 2-1. Regional play is definitely well underway midseason here for high school football, Ryan.